Good morning, Alien. Stephen, good to be here. And yeah, it's a bank holiday, so of course it's busy, and it always is. And I'm not sure you know, chaos is the is the right word that we seem to overuse it. It is just a really busy bank holiday uh, weekend, and obviously half term, as you just mentioned, and people are going away on holiday, and it's just the volume that is out there. Uh, and our infrastructure sometimes does struggle a little bit, but most people are getting away uh, pretty straightforwardly with, with some cues. But of course, it is a longer uh, journey time um, than it would be on a, on a Tuesday afternoon in uh, November. So it, it, for anyone who's heading off today, which a lot of people will be doing, what's the best way around it? What, is, is it just a case of give yourself a bit more time? I mean, it simply is that, Stephen. It is give yourself plenty of time uh, so you don't get stressed and relaxed. Get to the airport you know, three hours before. Uh, always stay, if you can, check in online before you get there so you've got your boarding passes ready and go to the, the bag drop and, and make sure you get through to airside as quickly as you can and go through security. And once you get through there, sit down and relax. And uh, it's part of your, your holiday and your journey. And, and similarly on the roads, if you're going down to the ports, is just give yourself that plenty of, plenty of time. Expect a bit of delay. And if you're mentally prepared, then it never seems quite so bad because everybody's doing the same thing. Mm. Clive, yesterday I think was the busiest day for takeoffs so far this year. Something like 3,000 flights were taking yeah. off yesterday. How much of this do you think is pent up demand of people? You know, we, we didn't get to go away on foreign holidays for the best part of three years, really, during the pandemic. And now people really want to get away and jet off on a holiday. Yeah, they actually do. I mean, the recovery since the pandemic of people uh, wanting to get away has been you know, much faster than I think many people <laughs> predicted. But it just shows that you know, we really do value our holidays massively. And, and of course, there are people traveling for business and going off to see family and friends, too. And uh, you know, the one thing people are not putting to the back burner at the moment is their chance to get away and travel around the world. So it, it's really encouraging for uh, our industry because it's had a really difficult few years, uh, but great uh, for for the people to get back out and, and start enjoying what they like to do, which is going to some sunshine if that's their choice or, or going to do other things. Are the airlines, in, in some respects, making this slightly more difficult? Because there do seem to be these, these situations where when things are getting a little bit behind schedule, the airlines cancel flights to try and get things back on track. Yeah, well, it, obviously there were some issues there. Half-term trips issues with pandemonium at airports and Dover during mass as terminations of tickets. Lengthy queues produced at the port of Dover, Manchester Airport and Bristol Airport impending the extended bank holiday weekend and May half-term, with workers' walkout also rolling at Heathrow Airport. The half-term travelling commotion has erupted on one of the busiest days on the roads and at the harbours and airfields in years, with considerable queues growing early on Friday through Saturday. Tons of drivers saw themselves on a long wait to hop onto the ferry boats at Dover this morning in what is predictable to be an extreme challenging day for the nation's transportation amenities. Trucks and HGVs are now being required to file and wait on the fringes of the Kent Township, in what is now an everyday view on hectic Friday, Saturday and Sunday bank holiday which includes a Monday ensuing the United Kingdom's exit from the EU and the additional daunting scrutiny and checks Brits must go through before block entrance to the continent. Up to 5,500 cars and 350 coaches are forecasted to trek through the cross-channel ferry terminal today and tomorrow. Please join the conversation. Put your comments and suggestions below in the comment section. Thank you for subscribing to this news channel. You will be notified of any breaking news and new post as you become part and parcel of the TAO Media family. Please like and share TAO Media. We love you all. Please support TAO Media Foundation by joining membership and visiting Amazon UK to purchase the displayed books to aid our orphanage projects across Africa.